Big eyes, a beautiful face, and intelligence, Kutra Shiraishi has everything to make the girls' hearts race for him. With undeniable beauty and intelligence girls went head over heels for him, making him the most popular student in the school. Admired and loved by everyone around him, Shiraishi head was lost in the clouds unfortunately making him believe no girl could resist him. Walking closer to the classroom with a confident smile he greeted his classmate. Kurokawa looked at him and returned his greetings by saying it looked like both of us are together this year. She got close to Shiraishi with amusement fixing his bad hair, with a teasing grin on her face that our school prince can have a bad morning too. Kurokawa turned and left leaving bewildered Shiraishi in his wake, making his bright smile disappear with a frown forming on his face. His fingers reached closer to his indoor shoes and tore them apart he muttered raucously in disbelief what the hell was that, freaking out his friends as they were talking with each other. Thinking about Kurokawa like a hunter fixing his gaze on her, Shiraishi learned that she is a smart student with undeniable beauty making her the unreachable flower as many students dared to approach her. But she was out of their league, being fixated on Kurokawa. Shiraishi can't hear the girls' voices and whispering around him. He heard rumors about Kurokawa and today she made him worked up and humiliated by her actions. Feeling his pride and image of school prince damaged Shiraishi sat down like Sasuke emitting a sparkling aura like a little girl he took it as a challenge to make Kurokawa fall in love with him, even though his desk became a mountain of shoe boxes, making his friends wonder about what's going on with him. During class cleaning one of Shiraishi's classmates asked about Cape Don and Agokui as she wanted to know what are they. His other friend looked and signaled him to demonstrate his charm on Kurokawa. Finding it as an opportunity Shiraishi got close to Kurokawa and used a shoju manga move on her making himself believe that this time Kurokawa would blush for him. But Kurokawa counter-attacked him with a Gokui by lifting Shiraishi's chin with her thumb and fingers leaving the school prince and others in disbelief with jaw drop reaction. More like using a Uno card to make Shiraishi fate playing a joke on him. Losing twice to Kurokawa Shiraishi went to pieces slumping on his desk burying his flustered blushing face in his arms forcing his school prince pride to think. How did this happen? And am I going to lose again? As he fell down Kurokawa reached closer to him to apologize for what happened earlier hearing her voice Shiraishi acted out like a surprised cat and tried to explain that he was fooling around with her. But Kurokawa didn't mind fooling around with him as she was worried about something else and got closer to Shiraishi for advice as everyone trusted him. With a straightforward face, Kurokawa explains that she had a problematic habit where she unconsciously acts like a badass lady killer this revelation left Shiraishi's jaw hit the floor like a runaway bowling ball, leaving him speechless. Kurokawa sighed and explained in a worried tone that it's always like this, people keep falling for her due to this habit even if she didn't want to. With a cheerful voice like a true gentleman Shiraishi offers his hand to Kurokawa to support her in the process, leaving Kurokawa in disbelief by agreeing so easily to help her. Like an evil genius hiding his intentions by batting an eye behind the mask of a gentleman with a bright smile, Shiraishi finds it an opportunity to take revenge against Kurokawa. In disbelief, Kurokawa got close to Shiraishi grabbed his hand with a sparkling charm in her eyes to thank him for helping her makes him annoyed more than before, with his cute flustered princess face. The next day their training began with a walk to school, watching them together make others admire them as a couple. To impress Kurokawa Shiraishi walked closer to the traffic side as a gentlemanly gesture to make her fall for him. Without knowing that fate had played on him Kurokawa lady killer mode kicked in. She grabbed Shiraishi's waist making him release surprise yelp from his lips and pulling him close to her so the passing by car wouldn't hit him and advise him to be careful. Getting his plan ruined Shiraishi walks faster with a blushed flustered face leaning with a traffic pole and burying it underneath his hands to hide defeat in his cute princess face from Kurokawa. She watched him with her straightforward and innocent face and apologized for her actions. Walking in front of Shiraishi with her concerned glance, Kurokawa knew that she had done it, making the school prince walk behind her with a pout formed on his face with anger and making him felt she is way worse than expected. Making himself believe to win over Kurokawa once again Shiraishi offers his hand like a true gentleman with a cheerful smile to earn her trust and to make his charm work on her. Kurokawa badass side once again played a joke on him she turned around and held his hand like a lady killer with unwavering confidence saying here prince take my hand. 
Being unsuccessful once again in front of Kurokawa's badass char Shiraishi's face became flustered with a clumsy voice walking faster from Kurokawa by hiding his face from his hands. Conversing with each other in the class Shiraishi thought and replied your problem is that you are too aggressive making Kurokawa shocked and leaving her in disbelief by the revelation. Learning the root of her problem Shiraishi replied that you needed to be more passive making Kurokawa surprised by his response he further explained that you needed to allow your partner to take care of you. Kurokawa's lady killer personality kicked in with the charm of a badass domineering queen by raising her hand like a champion and said so you or that will be entertaining me again today they come make me. Sending goosebumps and butterflies in Shiraishi's stomach making him flustered like a cute princess with a blush covering his face he turned around and hit his leg on the desk. Spending his day helping Kurokawa Shiraishi was worried and wanted to attack her to preserve his school prince image. Walking with her and a classmate, the girl next to her noticed the flowers blooming at a side on their way back to the class. Shiraishi along with the girl were watching the flowers and she wanted to take some of the flowers back with her to decorate the class. She asked Kurokawa, at where the flowers look the best with her unconscious lady killer with a cheerful smile she placed it right on Shiraishi's head saying how about here. Reaching back to the class the teacher looked at Shiraishi with amusement. He asked what are you wearing on your head with silence and a depressed face it was clear proof of his defeat. In the sports period, Shiraishi participated in the basketball event to show off in front of the girls with his charm and prince image he managed to race the hearts of girl. As the girls cheered for Shiraishi but there was a problem for him in the face of Kurokawa as she is also playing the basketball event. With her bright cheerful smile. She looked at Shiraishi and he asked you choose basketball too Kurokawa said she likes the type of sport where she can freely move around the way she wants. And to help her teammates when they are in the pinch. Which pissed off Shiraishi as he didn't want any cool guy stuff from her. The game starts and Shiraishi crashes into Kurokawa in the middle of the match. The match stopped right after the crash as the referee came to check both of them Shiraishi apologized for his mistake. Kurokawa apologized and said no it's my fault also. Both of them were fine but to be sure the referee ordered them to go to the nurse's office the girls were hyped as they wanted Shiraishi to princess carry Kurokawa in her arms just like the shoju manga protagonist. And it happened Kurokawa's badass habit kicked in. She held Shiraishi in her arms giving him a Princess carry escort to the nurse's office making Shiraishi blush again with a flustered princess face which was hiding behind his hand leaving the girl shocked and in disbelief. In the infirmary, Shiraishi is mad at Kurokawa he pulled and stretched her cheeks like a cute dog to punish what she did back in the game even though she apologized for it, the nurse was happy as both of them were unhurt. Kurokawa explained by holding her painful cheeks with a crying voice that she got worried thinking about our prince getting hurt by me. Shiraishi thought and said you did it because of your badass lady killer habit. Kurokawa replied with a serious voice and concerned face she replied then I got really worried about you before Kurokawa can complete the sentence her lady killer habit kicked in with sparkling or as she raises her hand and lifts Shiraishi chin like a playboy making his heart skip the beat with a blushed face making him worried about her. Discharging from the infirmary and walking in front of Kurokawa Shiraishi was already exhausted with a worry on his face after spending a day by being with her and it would be bad for him if this went on. Thinking about his school prince image Shiraishi turned around and thought to end up helping her. For himself before Shiraishi could spit out a word Kurokawa said in an emphatic voice, with her blushed cheeks, I'm going to try harder from now on so please help me again from now on. Looking her damsel in distress face he asked with his sharp eyes what happened to your bad side. But looking at her cute side he thought to stay longer with her. The next day walking with Kurokawa Shiraishi find it hard and painful than usual to walk. He stopped to take out a stone from his shoe and asked Kurokawa go ahead as he would catch up with her a little later. Right on the spot Kurokawa lady killer side kicked in she grabbed Shiraishi with his waist and made him sat on her knee by taking off his shoe and throwing the stone out of it making him flustered with a racing heart and a cute blushed princess face in front of everyone making him mad again on her. After reaching school Shiraishi once again stretched out Kurokawa's cheeks like bread dough in anger at what she had done earlier. Kurokawa apologized as it was nothing more than an accident expecting her bad habits to mess up with his day again Shiraishi came prepared this time and took out a point card to help her. Kurokawa was confused and wanted to know how this point card would help her. 
Shiraishi explained her plan whenever your badass habit kicked in you would get a point on the card and when the card fills you will be punished for your habits. With her charming badass smile Kurakawa said I understand and created a new world record by getting her first point in 0.8 seconds by making Shiraishi angry. Getting a point in less than a second with a worried face Kurakawa thought and asked to Shiraishi, I think it's better if we decide my punishment ahead of time. Listening to her, he thought that she got a point after mentioning it. Shiraishi thought it was a good rare opportunity to take revenge from her and to make up the loss she did to him. Prying into his brain a little bit more like Sherlock Holmes, Shiraishi got an idea and declared Kurakawa is not allowed to talk to him for an entire day. Listening to such harsh punishment, Kurakawa's eyes filled with water as she was about to burst into tears with a shocked face in disbelief. Seeing her like this Shiraishi tried to cheer her up by saying it's a joke don't take it seriously. Looking at her face covered with worry and tears, Shiraishi got close to her. Covered in sweat he said I didn't mean anything like this, I thought maybe you hate me. Before things became worse, Shiraishi made his move on Kurakawa like a gentleman playing with a sweet voice there's no way I could make a princess like you cry and I would take care of you. Kurakawa's mood cheered up right at the same time her badass sidekick with a charming aura of villainous she poked Shiraishi face with a sweet voice saying you are a quite reliable prince aren't you? Making her earn another point by making Shiraishi blush again with a flustered face. In the class, Shiraishi's class fellows were watching him and Kurakawa chatting, making them wonder and believe both of them is a couple and a feast of eyes for the girls. Watching both of them they converse and think about what they are talking about. The girl next to him says with pure naiveness something much more mature and elegant. They saw Shiraishi handing over another point to Kurakawa by covering his face making his classmates believe that they are way out of their league. The school bell rang Kurakawa's side in relief as it was finally time for lunch. With his lunch box, Shiraishi got close to Kurakawa and with exhaustion displaying fully on his face, he said it's hard work keeping your points down. During lunch, Kurakawa asked Shiraishi did you always brought lunch with you? He looked at her and said yes with a glimpse of the past, when he once tried to buy something from the canteen, and it ended up in a disaster making his desk surroundings become a mountain of bread by girls. The second time it happened again, making everyone in the canteen jealous when Obasans fell for his charms and offered him all the melon breads of the lunch break. With a serious face and low voice, he stated further about a time when online discussion threats were started regarding him. Kurakawa only sympathizes after listening to Shiraishi's painful tale and the downside of being popular. During their break, two more girls joined them. The girl with the pigtails whispered and said cheerfully after seeing Shiraishi that wouldn't it be great to have boyfriends who could cook. The next girl with boy cut hairstyle standing close to her agreed and asked Shiraishi what kind of lunchbox would you make for your girlfriend. Looking at the girl Shiraishi used the prince charming technique with a cheerful smile and a sparkling aura coming out from him. He answered I would make her favorite food. The girl with short hair moved closer to Kurakawa san and asked the same question. By interrupting her lunch, Kurakawa badass side kicked in she raised her hand by lifting the girl's chin and feed her saying I would make them say it's delicious. Making the heart of the girl race like a car. Looking at her blushing face the other girl asked, is it good? The girl only replied it's delicious seeing how the girl acting after eating Kurakawa fed her. Shiraishi freaked out and thought what kind of defeat is this? The break was over Shiraishi was heading back to the class Kurakawa noticed a grain of rice on his face, making her jaw drop in worry. She wanted to tell him but was afraid that her bad side would make her screw up again. Kurakawa decided to hold back and do nothing. A boy passing close to Shiraishi noticed the grain on his face and told him there was a grain on his face, making him blush and flustered. The boy looked at Kurakawa and asked why you didn't tell him. You must have noticed it, didn't you? Feeling down in disappointment in a low tone Kurakawa apologized. Back in the class looking at her chatting normally with other girls, Shiraishi called Kurakawa with a gentle smile playing on his lips he said looks like your habit hasn't triggered much today. With shock and disbelief, she asked it means the card was working. Kurakawa was exhausted after trying to control her subconscious habits, a smile playing on his lips Shiraishi sympathized and said it must be hard for you right. Looking at worn out and exhausted Kurakawa, 
Shiraishi pressed and dealt an attack with his cheerful voice hiding his true nature behind his prince mask he said from now on you will get 5 points whenever you fall into your bad habit. Kurukawa's jaw dropped with surprise as she got close to Shiraishi and asked, acting like a little girl why, and why. With a smile playing on his lips, like an old grumpy teacher Shiraishi said it's just like how supermarkets do things in the evening. Looking at Kurukawa in her weakened state, Shiraishi tried to use his charm by getting close to her with a cheerful smile touching her cheeks. He said I will let you off the hook as long as you are honest with your feelings about me and think me as a cool person. Taking his words into account Kurokawa expresses in a cute voice, To be honest Shiraishi you are cute like a rabbit with a flustered princess face rather than being cool. Making him so mad that Kurokawa earned 5 more points in less than a minute with an astonished face. In disbelief she only muttered why, like a drama heroine with a dropped jaw. The point card was filled up. Kurokawa muttered with shock that the second half was filled because of your mistake. Playing like a villain he asked what are you talking about. With sweat covering her face in fear Kurokawa asked in a trembled voice what would be my punishment. Do I have to stay away from you for an entire day? Shiraishi raised his hand and bonked on her head making Kurokawa's eyes open wide in surprise. Delivering his punishment Shiraishi turned around and said that's it. See you around. Making Kurokawa surprised and confused in wonder she asked was that's it. Was this the punishment? He said yes. With a gentler voice he said you tried your best right and I can't punish someone who is working so hard to change herself. With blush and raising his hands like a kid with a big energetic smile forming on his face. He thought in his heart and said take that how do you feel now? Cool right, that act of kindness is ace in my sleeve it must make her heart pound for me. Somehow Shiraishi picked up vibes from Kurokawa making him feel like something was wrong, did she fell for me. Looking at his act of kindness, a broader energetic smile formed on her face. Kurokawa acted like a dog waging her tail with a sparkling aura emitting from her body. Charmed by an act of kindness and developing respect for him. As he sensed something is wrong Shiraishi turned around with his drop jaw looking at Kurokawa in disbelief as like a cute puppy waging its tail. She said to him you truly are a reliable prince aren't you making him astonished in wonder. Looking at Kurokawa's innocent face and her pure smile Shiraishi asked himself does this mean aren't you falling for me? You said I'm reliable does that mean you have feelings for me? Looking at her face and the expression Shiraishi concluded she's not. Understanding her smile he sighed in relief and decided to stop for now as she is cute and called it a day. Looking at him sighing like this Kurokawa asked in a worried tone what's wrong why are you sighing like that. The next day walking with Kurokawa Shiraishi was worried as things were not in his favor in a battle against Kurokawa. Two girls got closer to Kurokawa and asked if they were dating each other. Raising his hands with an innocent smile playing on his lips Shiraishi denied it and said it was nothing like that. As their curiosity increased the girls asked Kurokawa if it's true. Without knowing that it would have kicked her badass mode right on the spot Kurokawa raised her hand complimenting her villainous smile like a queen she said, I wonder if it's true. Watching her play cool like a villainous Shiraishi jaw dropped with a blush covering her face thinking about what is she doing. He lunged on Kurokawa, scooping her up in his arms like a mama cat with its mischievous kitten. He asked why you went into lady killer mode. With her straightforward and innocent face she answered I'm trying to give them the slip. And it's nothing more than a lie so I'm sure it would be okay. Without knowing that she had set up a dangerous flag. Looking at innocent Kurokawa trying to help him. Shiraishi can't help but think that she is too naive of her actions. Suddenly Kurokawa and Shiraishi heard a scream. They turned around and saw a new drama that unfolded behind them. As the entire class went in shock and disbelief by Kurokawa words, they can't believe their ears and eyes and thought it must be a dream isn't it. Looking at how they were behaving Kurokawa's jaw dropped making her shiver in fear and disbelief. Kurokawa turned around with a lifeless and worried gaze she looked at Shiraishi and said we have to do something about it. Looking at her pale face he said don't worry I have a plan. All we have to do is to prove that we are not close with each other. Hearing his plan Kurokawa asked how. Shiraishi brought out a home economics class form and said we will use this. Shiraishi explained home economics class is a battleground where every girl can show off their charms by giving their cooked treats to boys they like. Playing like an evil doctor with a smile Shiraishi explained. 
Kurokawa, you are going to give your baked cookies to someone else, which is enough to prove that you are not interested in me. Instead of picking up what he said, Kurokawa's eyes caught a glimpse of Shiraishi's drawings with her cute puppy face she couldn't keep it but admire them. To be honest, these rumors didn't bother Shiraishi that much as he was used to it, but it would be a problem for his image if people think that it's true. And he wanted to stop them. Before Shiraishi could utter a single word for the next development of the plan, his friend busting with positive energy and a goofy smile on his face came close to Shiraishi and said guess what, I put you as a partner with Kurokawa in the home economics class, making him tick with madness by raising his hands with a face of angry bunny, he asked why, his friend answered with a cheerful smile I'm a mood reader and I read your mood, which tells me you two are dating with each other. His classmates can't help but to agree with him by nodding their heads off about what he said, hiding his frustration behind his gentleman mask. With a sparkling aura and a smile playing on his lips, he said Kurokawa and I shouldn't be paired up with each other and what you're saying are just rumors. With a shock face they asked is that true? And they instantly got close to Kurokawa by asking her would you be my partner no mind taking a hit after looking at her how she got surrounded by girls and boys around her. Shiraishi reconsider and said in madness with his flustered princess face, but you have already signed us, I guess I will be in pair with her. Kurokawa can't help but admire his suender face. The time had come Shiraishi looked at Kurokawa and signaled her like Tom Cruise, that it was time to put the plan into action. Like an obedient comrade Kurokawa replied Roger equipping aprons with their uniforms for home economics class, but Shiraishi had a problem with madness and sweat covering his face he requested to Kurokawa can we first switch out our aprons, looking at him with nervousness she apologized and said um I accidentally bought my mom's apron with me, after they switched out, walking with each other Shiraishi looked at Kurokawa and said to keep your habits in check today, with a cheerful tone she said okay, on their path, Two girls saw them and said in a cheerful hype emitting love vibes, Oh Shiraishi kun that apron looked good on you. The girl whispered to another girl's ear and said to match my apron with Shiraishi I changed my scrunchie today and I wonder if he would notice it. The second girl replied, Oh you are doing this kind of thing. The first girl replied Oh Maki you are doing this too by your new hairpin. Before Maki can clear up things, Kurokawa gets close to her like a playboy touching her face with a compliment of how lovely you look. Noticing that Shiraishi went from there Kurokawa went out to catch up with him by making Maki's heart skip a beat for him with a blush covering her face in wonder and amusement. In the middle of home economics class, Maki asked Kurokawa have you heard of Soda Kuru? She asked what's that? Shiraishi goofy friend explained it is when you roll up your sleeve to make a girl's heart fired up. Hearing what his friend said, Kurokawa's badass mood kicked in she got close to Maki from behind making her sleeve roll up gently putting her heart on fire. On the other hand, Shiraishi's sleeve rolled his friend roughly and asked is that how you do it? Kurokawa asked the same thing from Maki with a blushed and flustered face she answered yes with her heart beating as loud as a drum. In the middle of class two girls approached Shiraishi and asked we heard you don't like homemade cookies we wanted to give you what we made in the class today looking at them with a smile playing on his lips and using his charms like a cupid arrow he said today I will make an exception winning the heart of girls like a prince. Looking at him Kurokawa asked didn't you like homemade sweets Shiraishi replied that's not the case. He told Kurokawa what happened to him. Last year on Valentine's Day when he received homemade chocolate endowed with nails and girl's hair. And ever since then I refused to take homemade sweets with me and since we are in class right now they can't put anything weird in the sweets. With a sweaty face covered in nervousness Kurokawa can't help but listen and sympathize with Shiraishi about the horrors he faced in the past. Working on the cookies Shiraishi accidentally cut off his finger. Watching him in pain with her desperate worried face and clenched fists Kurokawa asked are you okay let me take care of this for you. Making him imagine worst case scenario thinking about Kurokawa sucking blood from his wound like an actress about what he watched on TV. But in reality, all she did was clean his wound. Looking at them, Shiraishi's friend asked weren't you going to do it like a drama actress. She looked at him and said with a smile there's no way I can do it. Shiraishi was amused as she bandaged his finger. With a blushed and flustered princess face, he said I wasn't looking forward to it or anything. 
Kurokawa enthusiastically exclaimed that at last, the cookies are done after completing the first phase of the plan. They moved on to the second part as Shiraishi asked we have to find someone to give them, but giving them to the boys would cause more rumors. She asked can't I give these to a teacher Shiraishi shot down that idea at once. As his wild imagination take place in its mind, he explained you would make sensei fall in love by your lady killer habit, and he can't lay a hand on his students, and he can't handle the stress. Thinking about this he puts both of his hands on his flustered face in embarrassment, as he can't keep up with what going on in his princess's brain. Thinking about this big problem Kurokawa forced her brain to think who should I give these to, as she thinks that anyone would be fine as long as they are a girl. Looking at Kurokawa and the cookies in her hand, Maki thinks she is going to give them to Shiraishi after all. Maki began to cheer herself and said get yourself together you can't let her get over to you by rolling your sleeve and complimenting you. Kurokawa got close to Maki with a smile on her face she handed her baked cookies to her. With her love attack making Maki's heart beat faster than it ever did in the past making her face red like a tomato in flusterness, without knowing what is this feeling blooming in her. Kurokawa went back to Shiraishi and reported to him that the second phase is completed swiftly without a problem. After the class was over Kurokawa and Shiraishi sneaked close to girls in disguise like a spy listening to everything the girls said and it looked like their plan work as the rumors died down. Looking at Shiraishi Kurokawa asked you got quite a lot of cookies there didn't you? Shiraishi said he didn't mind as I would be doing stuff like Santa Claus with these. Looking at Shiraishi Kurokawa said in an emphatic tone, holding chocolates in her hand, sorry about the bad timing, but I have made these for you. He paused for a moment looking at the chocolates in her hand for him. Shiraishi became panicked and looked around his surroundings. He asked what are you doing? Kurokawa replied I had one left. I seem to make you upset lately and I did it again in the morning also. So I want to offer them as an apology, but maybe I shouldn't because it would brew trouble for you again. Looking at her innocent face and her feminine charms he called Kurokawa leaning closer to her by opening his mouth by saying as you see my hands are not free hurry up. Watching him how he is acting a smile formed on Kurokawa's face as she enjoyed the moment with him. Eating her cookies with Shiraishi's face was covered up with a blush by thinking that she could sometimes also act cute. Looking at his blushed face Kurokawa asked you are the one who told me to feed you why are you blushed right now? Like a lover he said, shut up with clumsiness acting over his tongue as he is not thinking about the sweetness of her cookies. The next day on his way to school clenching his fist with a smile, walking close to Shiraishi, Kurokawa had a great idea and thought why not do a review on her improvements. In wonder Shiraishi asked what she meant by this, Kurokawa grabbed his hand like a royal guard escorting him on his way. She explained I have to take notes on my mistakes that I have done up until now without knowing that her lady killer habit was already in action. With a big smile formed on her lips with a sparkling aura formed around her, Kurokawa continued to sputter. She wants to prevent them from reoccurring which would result in a big change in her. Asking him didn't you think so? While a little later after knowing what she did earlier, Kurokawa acted like a lost soul with tears of defeat ranging from her eyes with a face of cute helpless puppy by thinking that she already made two mistakes. Looking at her puppy face Shiraishi can't help but sympathize that it must be painful for her. Looking at the sobbing Kurokawa Shiraishi cheered her mode that it would be fine as long as you are on the alert. And didn't I told you to be more passive. To better explain her. Raising his hand Shiraishi told her to imagine herself like a heroine in shoju manga and what would happen if you bumped into someone as a heroine while turning a corner. As a naive heroine she said I would hold out my hand for them. Shiraishi shot down the idea and said that's the hero job, and said heroine should like be the other way. Raising his hand with a smile playing on his lips he said try to think like a victim, forcing Kurokawa to play and think passively, without knowing the consequence of what he said. Taking his consideration into account Kurokawa gaze became cold and sharp with an aura of an ice queen and villainous excluding from her body. With harsh cold tone replacing her damsel in distress voice like a victim she said oi you watch where you are going damn it. Now you better pay for my medical damages. Watching her Shiraishi can't stop himself but said you are a heroine don't forget about it. Looking at Kurokawa in her down spirits again Shiraishi wondered why nothing is working on her. 
and why she only acts like a heroine when she acts normally. Thinking more in his mind Shiraishi thought that his idea lacks a sense of originality but he truly want to see it. As Kurokawa running with a piece of bread in her mouth like a real heroine, without knowing what is going to happen next. As she was walking around the corner a boy got crashed running into her by turning a corner, widening Kurokawa eyes in a surprise like a cartoon. The boy fell on the ground and felt like a water balloon burst after hitting the wall, as she is unhurt thanks to her strong physique. Being startled like a shoju manga heroine Kurokawa clenched her fist with a flustered face and said oi watch where you going damn it. Before sputtering another word Shiraishi get a hold of Kurokawa and says like I said scrap that line. Getting a good look on the boy Kurokawa realized that the boy's face looks familiar. As the boy was no one else than Kono Kun. Kono eyes widened after he realized that's it's Kurokawa in front of her. Shiraishi moved closer to Kurokawa and asked is he an acquaintance of yours. Kurokawa looked at Shiraishi and answered yes we were in the same class in our first year. After bumping into Kono Kurokawa playboy side activated like a villainous playing with her toy she got close to flustered Kono by saying aren't you a hasty one. Bad kids who don't know where they are going will be caught like this you know. Standing behind Kurokawa with his sharp gaze looking at Kono rice bowl. Shiraishi thinks since Kurokawa ignored it to this extent, I can't do nothing but think that this guy is part of rice faction. Shiraishi couldn't help but feel helpless by watching how gently Kurokawa was treating Kono making him think she had other friends besides him. Seeing Kono's cute face Shiraishi only felt pity for him as he couldn't defend against Kurokawa's attacks. And he also looks quite timid so I have no idea how these two are friends. Thinking about him Shiraishi walked closer to Kono for help him by offering his hand to him he said it would be hard to get up let me hold that rice bowl for you. Without a second thought Kono hand over, his rice bowl to him in a cartoonish tone saying here you go. After finishing his breakfast Kono said why no to do introduction again. With his sharp gaze and a badass tone Kono Yuya introduced himself and said I have known Kurokawa since first year and nice to meet you, Shiraishi. Returning his greetings Shiraishi asked are you hurt somewhere. With cool and badass tone Kono replied that was nothing to be worried about. But it would hurt after crashing into something obviously into anything. But it's to wind to beat around the bush when you carelessly injured yourself. Forcing Shiraishi brain to think who labeled this guy as a cute type. Kurokawa replied nobody said that. Looking at Kono he asked somehow my first impression of you was very different. He replied that's because I was eating. Little later Kono burst into laughter saying it's because anyone would be like a cute weak little puppy in front of Kurokawa. Shiraishi agreed leaving Kurokawa in disbelief looking at Kono. Kurokawa badass side kicked in raising her hand by complimenting her laughter she said you still look lovely if you are embarrassed my little kitten. Making Kono covered with blushed and a flustered face like a suender girl in a feminine voice he asked what are you talking about. Making Shiraishi disbelief as the before and after are way too different. He looked at Kurokawa and thought she hadn't gone into her lady killer mode without knowing what was going to happen next, before Shiraishi could sputter a word. Kurokawa apologized to Kono for what she did. A feeling dominated Kurokawa she leaned closer to Shiraishi touching his cheeks like a playboy surrounded by troublesome beautiful flowers making her to think what to do with them. Looking at her Kono went back to his senses and said it was fine as long as nobody got hurt. Ignoring her words with a smile playing on his lips Kono called him and said guess what. She called me a flower Shiraishi chuckled me too. Her, it's clear just by looking at Kurokawa that she is going crazy just looking at Kono. He continued to talk with Shiraishi and said call me Kono skip the kun part. Mischievous playboy smiled dancing on her lips. With widened eyes Kurokawa looked at Kono and said are you trying to be a man in front of me with that cute face of yours. Making him flustered like a cute girl in front of her. Kurokawa continued to look at him with a smile widening on her lips like a wolf attack leaving a little bunny like Kono undefended and shy all of sudden with a princess face. Looking at how she is dealing with Kono Shiraishi thought does Kono likes her. And she is also running like nuts around him so is something going between them. Thinking what he thought that if is it's true then I can't ask them directly can I. Looking at Shiraishi acting like an Einstein. Kono asked do you like her. 
making Shiraishi flustered with a blushed face answering in a jumble of words leaving Kurakawa and Kono in disbelief at the thought of what was going on with him. In haste Shiraishi got close to him with a said this type of topic would trouble her. Leaving Kurakawa traumatized in disbelief about her past actions, changing the subject Shiraishi asked you two seemed closer to each other. Kurakawa answered I guess so. Looking at Kurakawa Kono replied we do talk a lot. In laughter he said I'm done with her embarrassing actions, but in the end, we always end up like this, as a miserable pair isn't it? Making Kurakawa flustered, Shiraishi blustered up in jealousy with a laugh in a cold tone making Kono got worried is what's wrong with him. Sharing their past experiences against each other to them to see who got most embarrassed experience with Kurakawa. Taking the first turn Shiraishi continued that Kurakawa chin lifted him on the first day. Kono answered I got a finger kiss on my first day. The battle continued Shiraishi pressed his attack and told Kono that I got princess carried to the infirmary. Kono laughed and answered she took the lead on the sports festival dance, making each other flustered again by recalling their memories, listening to what she did Kurakawa begged them to stop. Looking at Kono, Shiraishi concluded that Kono ended up in this state after hanging out with Kurakawa for a year as he couldn't defend himself from her lady killer attacks. Flinching his eyes for a second Shiraishi thought there could be another possibility as he used this state to defend himself against her attacks. As he tried to copy Kono's suander way, Shiraishi felt a shiver in his spine as it would be impossible for him. Leaving Kurakawa and Kono in wonder, feeling dejected and being ignored by Shiraishi and Kono Kurakawa went back to his seat as Shiraishi took Kono with him to talk about something and asked, by whispering in his ear hey what were those reactions, they are impossible for me but how are you doing them, brushing his cheek with finger Kono replied trust me I'm not doing them on purpose. They came naturally to me to deal against Kurakawa attacks, and they can't be intimated. In wonder Shiraishi asked what do you mean? Patting Shiraishi's shoulder Kono replied you are too old for this, making Shiraishi angry as he said oi don't use your baby face as a criterion against her attacks. Leaving that aside Shiraishi reviewed and took on Kurakawa's attacks on him so he and Kono could make defend themselves against her. Writing down the strategies Kono asked what do you think about Kurakawa? Asking a question like this, throw Shiraishi out of balance as his lips whispered mutely. Looking at how Shiraishi was hiding his face Kono asked what is bugging you I like Kurakawa and I meant it. A smile making Shiraishi's heart beat harder than before. A big smile on his face with a blush on his flustered face Shiraishi said you shouldn't play around saying lame punch lines like that. Feeling flustered and want to know what's going between Kurakawa and Kono. Shiraishi asked why do you want to suppress lady killer habits? Kono answered because I got asked to, and I feel like I should help her because this habit is a huge problem to her in my opinion. Shiraishi can't help his motives as he want to make Kurakawa fall for her. Kono continued and said it is we who decide whether a person has good or bad qualities Kurakawa thinks that she should fix her habit, but if people say it's good then she won't think that it's a burden to her and others. Listening to his opinion Shiraishi went back to class in anger. Exhausted Kurakawa welcomed him in a low voice and apologized for going overboard with her lady killer habit, and continues to write something on her notebook. Looking at her Shiraishi said it's nothing like that. Feeling in his mind that Kurakawa thinks her habit is a burden because of me. He asked, Kurakawa what are you writing this whole time? A wave of power flowed in Kurakawa making her revived with a sparkling aura she answers thanks for asking. Showing him her notebook with a smile Kurakawa said it's a revision notebook. And I write what you and Kono said in the boasting contest. Making Shiraishi wonder in surprise. Kurakawa continued and said I'm putting it into practice rather than my actions. A smile formed on her lips. Making her determined to work even harder and said I want you to watch over me. Making her words touch Shiraishi hard like a cupid arrow. Listening to her words a gentle smile formed on his lips. Shiraishi thought I guess there's no need to force her to stop being a lady killer. And replied then I leave it up to you. Watching the smile on his face Kurakawa cheered like a little girl swinging her arms up and down on her achievement. Looking at her Shiraishi can't control his mouth and sigh by saying this is love I guess. Making him worried what he just said.